Hello everyone, welcome back in Cool IT Health and in this tutorial session we will learn how to add a combo box in table view cell. Right now you can see a running example and uh, here in this stage we have one table view and I have added combo box in the last column. So I will describe you everything in detail. Let's get started. So I have prepared a base project and the same base project download link given in the description box. So I suggest you guys download this base project, import in your NetBeans ID and execute. Once you execute, you will see very first stage and here you will see only three columns. So our journey of this tutorial session starts from this place. We will add one more column in this table view, then we will add a combo box, then we will populate the combo box with the data. So all these things I will explain step by step. Let's begin. On the left hand side, we have this project. This is FXML based project. In this base project, in base package, we have few things, FXML file, one controller file, a data bean, a data model. And I have used this CSS for giving a better look and feel to table view. So I want to share you a more with this example definitely this will help you beautify your table view okay guys so we have this fxml so first i will show you the fxml then i will show you the changes we are going to do so this fxml is open in the fx in scene builder and right now we have only one table view inside the anchor pan and these three columns first one is the name second is address and third is job type and uh, inside this code window, we have assigned FX ID to the table view. Also, we have assigned the FX ID to these columns, name, address, and job type. Now, in this empty space, we will add one more column. So, go to the library and type table view column or a table. So, you will see the results. So, just drag and drop a column at this space and adjust the width now the column is added now we will change the name of this one so i want to put a name of this column like a salary range i want to display the salary range of each employee so column is renamed now we have to assign fx id because we have to use this fx id in the controller file so I'm going to assign a FX ID salary range, a similar kind of name. This is useful to differentiate. So we have done all with FXML. Now I'm minimizing this FXML. These two buttons coding will be explained in my upcoming next tutorial, the second part of this tutorial. Okay. Now we have done with the FXML inside the start we have used the CSS now I will uh, show you what changes required in the person in the data bean or a data model so the person class is used to fill the data inside the table view because we have to prepare observable list and we will create the objects of person class we will fill some data and then we will set inside so we have the person class with three properties uh, first one is a name second one is address and third one is a job type now the fourth one We need to add a combo box So we have to create one more property for this fourth column salary range So salary range will be displayed inside the combo box. So here I have declared salary range a new variable of combo type Now new change is required inside this uh, person constructor because uh, we are using to initialize the person object with the help of this constructor so i have to put a line this dot salary range is equal to new combo box so constructor is initializing the object each row has its own copy of combo box that means we have to give a separate object to each row that's why I have used the new keyword right here 
and every time the person object will be created a new combo box will be created and associated to that row that's it it's very straightforward now we have to create the getter and setter for the new variable salary range this is done so person class changes is ready now I hope these changes are clear to you. I am explaining in a very uh, descriptive way because most of uh, you guys have uh, doubts and uh, some questions. So I want to explain this base concept in a very clear and easy manner. Okay, now we have done with the person class. Now we are inside the FXML document controller. So here we have to do some usual changes like uh, we have to use the FX ID as a table column, the reference variable. So whenever this column will be initialized and will be assigned to this reference variable. And this is the observable list to prepare the data and the data is of type person class. Okay. I hope this is clear to you and uh, this method is not used in this tutorial session because we are not going to cover the button click action this will be covered in the second part of this tutorial now the major changes has been done inside this initialize method first we have to prepare the data so we just prepared the data this way this is very straightforward way fx collections dot observable list and inside this list we have initialized the objects the person objects by calling the person constructor with new keyword new person second new person so this is going to be the row of the table view once the observable list the data is ready then we will add this data inside the table view let me show you so the name address and job types so we are passing the arguments name address and the third one is the job type so this is the base project coding that uh, you have downloaded let me show you one more time so when you click on this person so you will reach here there is a constructor and uh, we are initializing the person object with the help of this constructor by passing the arguments so this is the way to prepare the data rows for the table view now we have to associate the column with the set value factory without doing this you will not able to see the data that you have prepared by creating the person object so the same way set cell value factory new property value factory and uh, then associated with the property the first name the getter setter property okay and uh, the first one is name second column is the address third column is the job type and fourth column is salary range so these four is uh, associated with the set value factory and three is already there and uh, now the fourth one i have to write the code so this is very simple the same kind of code will be used here salary range dot set cell value factory set value factory and then new property value factory object and passing the uh, property name as a string after that we have added in the data the observable list inside the table view by using set items method that's it so we have done our changes and uh, it's time to take a clean build and then we will run this project okay build successful now going to run here we go now you can see the combo box added in each row in the last cell inside this salary range column our code changes working properly and uh, but data is not there and uh, in the next step I will show you how to add the data add the items inside the combo box so I am telling you in the last because I don't want to mess up the concepts here. 
so now we will add the data inside to do that we have to do few more changes the first change we have to do inside the person class here the combo box that we have created with the help of new and we have to give the data list the, that means the item list so the item list will be observable list okay now at the time of preparing the data we have to pass the observable list so very simple way fx collections dot observable array list and here we will create the list by passing the item the first item I'm going to give the range like uh, because I want to display the salary range so I am uh, putting such kind of data you can fill anything what you want 1000 to 5000 USD and uh, so first we are going to add a single item inside the combo box similar way I will add same observable list for the rest of the person objects because the same number of arguments we have to pass for each person object okay it's done but right now this is showing error because uh, some changes are pending inside the person class now we will see the changes inside the person class so inside the constructor in the person class constructor we have to give a parameter to catch the observable list argument that we have passed at a time of creating the data from this controller file so we are passing the argument the observable list and there we have to define a parameter to catch it so observable list data and this data will be passed inside the combo box at line number 27 look at this this is very simple and straightforward so combo box will be initialized with the data that we have passed from the controller file and this is done the error is gone and now I will take a clean build and then I will execute this to verify the results now going to run this example one more time here we are now you can see on the stage inside the salary range column we have the combo box and I will check click here you can see the data is populated successfully let me show the controller file and I will show you in parallel the data we have loaded 1000 to 5000 USD for first row 2500 USD for second row the similar way we have added for each row congratulations guys we have added this data inside the combo box successfully if you want to display more than one item inside the combo box so simple you have to add more item uh, because this is error list so you have to add one more item as a string so I'm going to create one more the salary range the different salary range and that will be displayed as a second item in the combo box of first row okay it's done it's time to take a clean build one more time okay the stage appeared now you can see two items added inside this combo box successfully I hope you guys have a clear understanding on whole concept how we have added the combo box inside the table view cell how we added the multiple items inside the combo box if you guys found this tutorial useful guys please like this tutorial and subscribe my channel also press the bell icon so you will get the latest video updates on time and uh, for these two buttons coding how to fetch the data from this selected combo box and how to print all data 
on the console on button click so this topic will be covered in the second upcoming tutorial on the same session so guys uh, keep watching cool it health for now thanks for watching